Hello and good morning and or afternoon to all my fellow rock stars checking out this nail mail video with your girl Rocky A Star. And in this really big box today right here, we have four scoops from enailcouture.com that we're going to be doing a full boxing on. This is my third box from enailcouture.com and it's time to find out if that old adage is true. It's the third time really a charm. Let's find out today and get into this box. Be strong. Be strong. Hello and welcome my lovely nail besties to the newest nail adventure. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as you can hear, I am bursting with excitement to dive into these goodies with you. Now, as I posed the question earlier, does the third time truly bring the charm? This marks my third order from enailcouture.com, and this time around, I've scored four scoops along with five polishes, a bling tool, and a new queen gel top coat to hit that sweet free shipping deal over $99. At the time of the purchase, enailcouture.com was offering a tempting 35% discount off your total, coupled with the free shipping for orders over $99 within the U.S. during their New Year's sale. My first two scoop orders left me feeling fortunate with the variety of products, many of which are items I use in my daily nail routine just from different companies. So being a newcomer to Enail Couture, each unboxing felt like a fresh discovery of their product line. Now, this time, I found myself at a crossroads. Was I pushing my luck and getting a third scoop order? Spoiler alert, we're all here. I got the third scoop order. Or do I spend the $60 instead on items that I knew I wanted? To truly gauge the value of the scoops, I conducted a thorough cost breakdown. I tallied up the total items received, their current website prices, and I compared it against what I would have likely purchased individually. Spoiler alert, what led us all here today and me making this video is there was a purple polish I was going to buy, but I opted not to because my total was already getting kind of high even with the discount. So when I saw that purple polish as one of the scoop items, my math side had to find out the true value. So we have so many goodies to look in here today. We're going to start peeking into this box and pulling out some goodies. And I also, again, while I'm getting ready to pull some goodies out, want to say thank you for joining me. If the audio seems a little off, my dogs were barking in the background during the original recording. Uh, so we're doing a little bit of a voiceover so you didn't have to hear my dogs barking the whole time. Starting off with some nail essentials, I got four of the 240 over 240 grit nail files in the crescent half moon shape. I also got four of the orange wood sticks, or you can call them cuticle pushers. I have gotten these in my last scoop boxes, several of them like this. It's great to have extra on hand. The next item I'm going to show off is I got two of these dust brushes. I haven't ordered this or got this in a scoop item before. I'll probably be using these for my spa manicure. They have really strong bristles, so I think it'll be great for my toenails and my heels. And it'll last through a few services. Now, let's talk about some accessories. I got aprons that are dustproof. I did get four of these in my second scoop order, so now I have six of them total. I'm going to see if I can make some friends with some nail techs out there. Uh, maybe I have some friends with some younger kids that do some messier activities like finger painting. Um, I did get four of these, like I said, in my last two scoop boxes, and they are nice. They tie in the back. They have a nice deep pocket on the front. I'm just a home nail tech. I don't get very messy when I'm doing my own nails, so they are just sitting in a drawer of extra supplies I have. 
But I mean, the good news is they're dust proof, so they're not going to get dusty while they're sitting in there, right? <laughs> the next thing I got are two of these My Candy Boxes. I have gotten these in my past scoop order. I also got one of the Metal My Candy Boxes. And all of these little candy boxes I have gotten in my past scoop boxes. So I was really happy to see them again. I use them for a lot more than just like my magnets and brushes and dotting tools. The plastic ones, little sneak peek item. Uh, these little jars like the spider gel or any little jars that you get like holographic or glitters in. These are great for storing those little jars in. I don't have a lot of extra places right now to store that safely. They just kind of roll around in a Tupperware bin loosely. So these My Candy boxes are great for storing those little pots and jars of those things. And like I said, I got two of the plastic and one of the metal one. So right now I'm just kind of clearing some items off my desk. I did measure the boxes. I had the last two boxes and all the items still sitting in them. All three of my boxes were 12 by 12 by 12. So really surprised this third one showed up as big as the last two. Now I'm going to move into the acrylics. I have purchased uh, all of their acrylic monomers in the past in my first and second order. This is the first time I've gotten them in my order. I got three bottles of the cotton candy monomer in the four ounce size. And yes, I did have to sneak a whiff of it. I love the smell of monomer. And I enjoy their acrylic system. I ordered their monomer and there was a purple acrylic on their website I really wanted that I ordered in my second order along with all their different monomers to try them out. So I'm very pleased so far. I was happy to see three of these bottles show up in my scoop box. I can definitely use more of this. And each one of these bottles I received were the four ounce ones. Next up, I'm going to bring the acrylic powders. I haven't received the acrylic powders in my past scoop orders. This is the first time I received them as a scoop item. But like I said, I have purchased one of them before. I did get eight jars total. There are a couple duplicates. Each one of these jars is about 20 grams. And the first color I'm going to start off is number five in charcoal gray. And it definitely has that gray, charcoal gray I would think of after the briquettes have cooked down in the grill during a nice summer cookout. It's nice and light, smoky. Glad I put the bib down too before opening all of these. It was quite messy, so I would recommend something underneath you when you're opening up any of your acrylic powder, really. Next up is number six in Black Diamond. And when I opened this one, I let out the biggest gasp. I was so surprised to see that much shimmer and sparkle in there. When you actually kept the shimmer just right in the light, it does look like that silver, blue, purple color that a diamond would do when it's reflecting underneath the light. But this was number six, black diamond, and I got one of those. The next color I got is number eight in the color royal. And again, another one where I let out the biggest gasp. It was such a pretty blue. It makes me think of winter and ice. It also made me think of Easter. Easter is coming up soon. I remember doing Easter eggs as a kid and it'd be like that light pastel baby powder blue. This is number Royal and I got three of those. And the last one, I really wasn't sure what color it was going to be. It is the number 
21 in the name Confidence. And it's definitely like a nice nude peach, yeah, peachy, tanny kind of color. I would probably say this is like a good base color. I also know people have been doing a lot of that sweater look art, the textured matte designs. So any of these colors really would be great for something like that if you're not into doing acrylic powders for your dip or building your nail. There is a lot of nail art styles out there nowadays that make use of all these colors. So that's the great thing about nails. You're not limited. The only thing that limits you is your own mind. Okay, so now we're gonna start clearing off the acrylics and kind of wiping my space down a little bit. It was so dusty. So us press-on girlies, I love to wear press-ons. I was able to rejoice. There were so many lovely things in there to adhere my press-ons. And also rhinestones, that's what's great, again, about a lot of these products is they are multi-use. So if you don't wear rhinestones, but you wear press-ons, there you go. Or you wear both. Well, why not just use one product for it all? Uh, first up, I got four of these Happy Gels in the 15 milliliter tubes. I also got one each of the 123 Go Light Pink and Clear in the 5 milliliter jar. I haven't received these two items before in my scoop. I also did not know they made the 5 milliliter size until I went on their website for the cost breakdown. So that was cool to receive something in a smaller size. I'm gonna use the clear one definitely for holding down stones. It's really good on the bigger ones. It creates like a nice little pocket or suction cup to just hold that big stone into place. I also got four of the full size one, two, three, go bubblegum gel, the 15 milliliter in the color pink. And I put gotten these in my last two scoop orders in both the pink, the light pink, and the clear. So I have all of these from scoops in the past. Extremely happy to see it again because, like I said, I'm a press on girly. I love them. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to bring up here on the screen are probably one of my favorite products ever. They are nail stickers. Check out these adorable nail stickers. I've gotten stickers in my past nail or uh, scoop boxes. So I was happy to see some more stickers and they were different designs, ones I don't have already. The first one I got here is, I got three of these ones. They are called Love Fool. And I got one of these here. It is called Royal Fox. It's like a full cover decal. And I also got four of these sheets here with these really cute roses. And some of these stickers here in like a French chip kind of style with the rose design on it to make it super easy. I'm finally there with my French design when it comes to nail polish, but in terms of designing on it and getting the transfer foils down on them perfectly, we're still working. We're still working. And what's great is on my lazier days when I don't want to pull out all those art tools and spend all that time trying to draw all of this cool artwork, it's right here for me. You just put a nice top coat on top or even a matte coat, seal it all in.
All right, so I'm gonna move some more items here off the table. And right after I had made this order, Valentine's Day was coming up and they also were doing a Lunar New Year sale. They had 35% off your total and still offered free shipping. They just added to the site a super scoop for $60 and a color scoop that was 24 gel polishes in it. Plus they still had the regular $20 scoop and the 123 Go scoops. I just got a notice that the box is on the way, so if you're interested in that box, I would love if you subscribe so you can get a notice and check out my first super scoop and color scoop with me. So the next thing I'm going to move into, I have gotten these in my past scoop boxes. Not these particular ones, just rhinestones or beads in general. These are like small caviar beads. They're listed on the site underneath their diamond holic mix. They are in number 28 and number 29. One's like a gold color. The other is like a silver kind of pewter color. And I started growing a big love again for caviar beads. So seeing these show up, I was quite happy. There is multiple sizes inside of there. And again, I want to say thank you, everybody, for joining me here today. I hope you all are having an amazing day and enjoying checking out all these nail videos with me, finding out did we get our values worth. So this next item, this next set of items I'm bringing up, I'm going to say I'm not surprised they were in the box. I'm just saying I'm surprised I received so many again in this order. In my last two scoop orders, I received over 10 boxes of nail foils each time. Both of the scoop boxes, a lot of the a lot of them were different, but there were two or three that were duplicates. So this nail uh, scoop order, I got 16 total boxes of nail foils. Yep. That's right, we got 16 of them total. <laughs> a lot of them, though, were different for me. Like, I have never received these before. One or two I have received before. Amazingly, there weren't a lot of duplicates. Most of them are also still available on the website. And since I got so many of them, I won't spend a lot of time, but... This is the first one, it's called Voyage. I got two of these ones. They're no longer for sale on the website, but they do have a similar one. This is called the Angel or Devil Black and White Lace. The next one I'm gonna pull up, I got two of these ones also. This one here is called Itzy, I-T-Z-Y. The next one I got is called Ariel. I got one of those. I got one in Fufu Silver. Two here in this one called Fufu Gold. Two of these ones here called Story that have this really nice floral pattern. One called Garden, another nice floral pattern. The next one uh, is spelled R-O-D-E-O. -E Some people might want, might want to say Rodeo. I'm going to call it Rodeo. The colors in here just scream like high-end fashion design logo colors. If you ever watch his Max's stream, it's all about the outfits. So I'm having a feeling this is more meant to be Rodeo Drive, inspired after all those 
high-end designers there like Coco Chanel and Ralph Lauren. The blue and yellow, you know, kind of give me like Nautica feel. I know Nautica may not be high-end to some people. <laughs> Next up, I gotten this one before. Uh, this one is called Cameroon. And the last one that I'm going to pull up is I got two of these ones here in gold. What was weird about this one is this one came with two slots without any foil in it. They weren't anywhere in the box. I pulled the others apart, so I'm not sure why they're missing. But I don't wear a lot of gold foil anyway, so my heart wasn't broken that two of them weren't in there. It's, it was fine. <laughs> So another item I'm going to try to speed through a little bit. I also received them in my last two scoop boxes consistently. And that's going to be their 1, 2, 3, go soft gel nail extensions. Most of the styles I got in this box I received in my last two boxes. But there are two of them that are new for me. And that's going to be these double XL pipe shaped nails. I got two of them. And I also got one of their sculpted medium nails. And that's why I'm missing some of the nails right now in the video. I'm getting ready to do a new set and also a pedicure on myself plus a test with the queen gel about its no staining properties and i was going to test some of these nails up to my fingernail badge just to get an idea of how they fit my index finger on my right hand i actually am missing uh, a big chunk of it i chopped it off in a door funny story for another time and I've also broken a lot of my fingers, so a lot of nail extensions don't fit my nails very nicely because of how awkward and flat shaped they are. I also type a lot all day long, so I can't have a crazy long nail, but I do like just enough length to still have that kitty cat claw fantasy realness. <laughs> And this is me just sizing up one of these sculpted almond medium nails. It's not the perfect size, but I was more so just trying to get an idea of length and how curved they are. And if you do have really flat nail beds like me and you don't have any allergies to gel, what's great is stuff like that one, two, three, go bubblegum gel is great for us with flatter nails. We can slide that into there, kind of create a, uh, kind of create a nail, so to say, so that way we can build it up, help it stick down to our finger a little bit better. And these ones I'm trying on are the double XL pipe shape nail. Some people might even say uh, Russian pipe nails, and it's a nail, a nail style I've never tried out before. I haven't been too curious to try out before, but it is cute. I do like it. Most of these one, two, three, go gel nails that I'm going to be showing in the video, they are not for sale anymore on the website. I could only find the mini stiletto nails. They do seem to still have those up, but all of these others, they are no longer available. I also got quite a few almond nails and their almond nails are a little bit more stiletto-y shaped to me. And I was really happy to see so many nails again in here as a press on girly. But these are the mini stilettos. I got two of those. I also got one round. 
one in the 24 coffin, 24 karat coffin, one in the 24 karat almond, one here in the double XL frozen coffin. This was another new one for me. These sugar glitter pink almonds. I haven't received these before. They're really similar to the other um, almond nails here I'm showing off. Just in a sugar glitter pink. I got two of these honey peached almonds. One honey peach coffin. One princess pink coffin. And one of the princess pink almonds. But that is all of the one, two, three, go soft gel cover nails that I received. And now we're going to move on to the last set of items. The last two orders I got gel polishes. Oh, before we go on to that, I forgot. Uh, I also got some of these Lux brush wipes. There are 50 of them in each box. I got four boxes total, so I got 200 of their little brush wipes. And I got these in both of my scoop boxes. I got several boxes last time. I think I have over 10. No, I have over 15 of these boxes now total, including these four. So I have a lot of these. Again, I'm a home and nail tech. I don't go through these products crazy quick, but I'm happy to see more. That means I just don't have to buy them again for a really long time. And I'm only four foot 11. I'm just showing off how big they are. My hand's not super huge. They're the size of the box. And they're perfect just to get that tacky layer off the top of your nail when you're doing poly gel or something that doesn't have a no wipe formula to it. Or you just need something quick to wipe your brush off on. Okay, so now for realty, we're going to get to some of the last set of items. So these are the gel polishes that I got. And I was really happy to see in my third scoop order, I got more polishes. I think this is the most I've gotten in any scoop box now. There are a couple of duplicates here. And there she is, the purple one in the upper left corner, Miss Lovely 034, the glitter purple. I almost bought this. It was in my cart. And now I have four of them. <laughs> but these are the polishes that I got total. I'm super surprised with how many I got. They're all full-size, nice class bottles. A lot of these colors, in fact, none of these colors I have. So that was really nice. This, there she is. Yep, we were going to buy you. <laughs> well, we bought you somehow. You just showed up in a scoop instead, girl. It's so... So many polishes here. So happy. All right, so I'm going to clear some of these polishes off. And I have made some swatches of each of these polishes I got. I got 13 in total. All of the swatch sticks, there is no base or top coat. It is just the color on the swatch. This first one is... The gel liner, it is number 19 in pastel green. It has a very nice formula. I like the consistency. I've been happy with all of the consistency so far from Enel Couture. And for a pastel green, it's got very nice coverage. This was all one coat. There are a couple spots where I might have went over twice because I was crisscrossing the lines. The next colors I was able to find on their website in what they call their Cocoa Chip Cookies Collection. These are numbered 113 and number 116.
This one here, 116, it has a nice light gray base. When you kind of float the color on, you can see the little specks of orange and pink, orange and pink, uh, like hexagons, there's little white specks in there, kind of like a light green as well. It's a very interesting color. Not one I would normally pick out. So I did like getting it in a scoop. There are some ways I can already think about using this color, especially with Easter coming up. This next one I got is number 113. It's kind of like a peachy yellow color, again, with different specks of hexagon circular pieces in there. They're not quite glitter. The next one I was also able to find in a collection. This is number 199 from the Precious Minerals line. It was in the collection Puzzle Moon. And this one here is a very sheer color. It has a lot of shimmer in it. And this is what it looks like with just one coat. And I love the shimmer in here. You could even use this for a topper if you wanted on top of another color, if it didn't have a shimmer in it because it is so light, the base color is almost clear. The next ones I couldn't find in any type of collection name, but they are still offered this site under like their general gel section where they have like the gel polishes one through whatever number. Of course, we have to start first with number 034 here. This is what I would have purchased. And this is just one coat. It's a very thin color. Spoiler, I already used this when it showed up. I use it on my toenails. I didn't do a pedicure about two weeks ago. And this purple went right on there. And it looks stunning. It's been holding up great after the two weeks. No chipping yet. Just the natural nail growth. Next up is this one here in number 84. It's like a nice chocolate brown. Again, it has like that shimmer glitter effect in it. And this is what it looks like with one coat. I think with two coats, this would be a really solid color. Put a nice top coat, top coat on. And this one here is number 085. I would call this like a forest military kind of green. And I was kind of stoked to get this color. I don't have a whole lot of greens when I was sorting out my polishes a couple weeks ago. I realized I have like three highlighter lime greens and that's it. <laughs> this one here is number 109. It is a nice shimmer glitter gold color. Definitely gives me New Year's vibes with that gold glitter shimmer. And again, one coat, definitely you could build this up with two coats to get a nice color underneath. Or again, you could put this on top of a, a gold polish or some other color and really make the glitter in there pop. I like to do white nails and then a glitter on top of it that white background just oh so the final item i haven't received these in my scoops before these are their play gels this is also known as spider gel i got the white and the silver i was really happy to see these in the box they are so much fun when you just want to let that creative side flow and make like a neat abstract string art and going back to those orange wood sticks or cuticle pushers, if you don't have a toothpick, that's the great thing. These double as a utensil. 
to, I've opened that one. I haven't opened this one yet. <laughs> they open as a utensil so you can open up these jars because for some reason we still can't get a nice little pull tab on here. Even when you have no nails, they're impossible to open. But you can just stab inside of there and then go crissy crossy on top of your nails with the end of this, just like it was a toothpick. And I'm definitely going to be ordering some more on their website. They only have two or three other colors available. But what's cool is with the white one is you can use a jelly or some type of glitter clear color on top of it to change it and make it some other color. But this is everything from the scoop haul, all of the items, everything laid out. All one hundred and one items I have crunched the numbers to assess the value and the first breakdown we are going to go through, there are three items on the site I couldn't confirm the price on. And that was the rose nail stickers, the plastic version of the nail brush boxes, and all of the one, two, three go nails, except for the sculpted medium almond nails. So here we are looking at a breakdown. This is the master sheet. This is all of the items I received in total. Now I did take those three items out and if I would have purchased everything individually available on the site, I would have spent $332.85 before tax on 79 items, making each item $4.12. The next breakdown is assuming the price of the plastic box is $2.50 each. All of their other stickers on the site are a dollar, so I use that for the rose stickers. Most of their one, two, three go nails are $11.99 as long as they are not the black label. So with that being said, 101 items would have totaled out to $533.69, making it about $5.28 per item before taxes. And since there were items in the scoops I probably would have ordered, I made a final breakdown of the items I would have purchased. Out of the 101 items total, there are 19 items I would have purchased. I'm going to put a breakdown of those items also up on the screen. And the 19 items would have totaled out to $59.95, making each item about $3.16. Now, I keep in mind I had a 35% discount. Each scoop from my order was $13 in theory with that discount. That means I spent $52 total on the scoops. That means I got 101 items for around 50 cents each when using the sale price. And if I didn't get them on sale and I just spent $20 on each scoop, I still would have been spending mere cents. Um, I think it was roughly around 80 cents per item. So in conclusion, my scoop haul has proven to be a delightful investment with only a couple minor disappointments. The dust proof, aprons were really the only thing I was kind of upset about and upset's a strong word I you know they were items that I definitely would have been okay with if they weren't in the scoop box <laughs> but with that being said there's 19 items I would have purchased anyway the value speaks for itself as for future scoop purchases well we already know you can count me in. I bought a super scoop plus one color scoop. I am eagerly awaiting my first super scoop and color scoop to see what surprises await for us. And that wraps up today's unboxing adventure. 
a heartfelt thank you to all my viewers for joining me on this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And like my girl Sailor Mercury said, be pure, be honest, be beautiful. Thanks, my nail besties. Have a great day. Be strong. Be strong.